Ladies and gentlemen, fellow St. Lucians, the Ministry of Commerce and the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards join the international community to mark the observance of World Standards Day on October 14, 2023. The first commemoration was held in 1970, guided by the International Organization for Standardization, the ISO, the International Electrotechnical Commission, the IEC, and the International Telecommunication Union, the ITU, in collaboration with national standards bodies like the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards to focus on the importance of standards in various spheres of life. World Standards Day is being observed under the theme Shared Vision for a Better World. The theme has been carried forward from last year with an extended focus on moving forward sustainable development goal number three, which is ensuring healthy lives and promoting well-being for all ages. This is a worthwhile global goal to have a shared vision to make our world better for all its citizens. Healthy lives and well-beings of the world's population are threatened by diseases and escalating crime, which is impacting our quality of life. The film challenges the world and the standards community of the ongoing dedication required to address the deficiencies in global health access. It serves as a reminder of the outstanding work yet to be accomplished from the lessons of COVID-19. St. Lucia remains conscious that there is much to be done to prepare our populations more effectively for future health shocks. The theme underscores the urgency of creating robust healthcare systems and fostering the collective commitment to global health quality. In doing so, we strive to build a world where the well-being of all individuals, regardless of age or background, is safeguarded, and where our shared vision for a healthier, more resilient planet becomes a reality. While this call to action is centered on action in standards development, advocating a collective endeavor that demands the active participation of every segment of society, including local governments, businesses, industries, and individuals. To be successful, the process requires conscious collaboration and innovation. The United Nations stipulated that by 2030, the following targets are to be met. Reduce the global maternal mortality rate to less than 70 per 100,000 live births. And preventable deaths of newborns and children under five years of age, with all countries aiming to reduce neonatal mortality at least as low as 12 per thousand live births, and under five mortality to at least as low as 25 per 1,000 live births. And the epidemics of AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria, and other communicable diseases. Reduced by one-third premature mortality from non-communicable diseases. Strengthen the prevention and treatment of substance abuse, including narcotics and harmful use of alcohol. Cut down injuries and road fatalities from accidents by half globally. Provide universal access to sexual and reproductive health care services, such as family planning and information. Achieve universal health coverage, including financial risk protection, access to quality essential health care services, and access to safe, effective, quality, and affordable essential medicines and vaccines for all. Strengthen the implementation of World Health Organization Framework Convention on Tobacco Control in all countries as appropriate. Substantially increase health financing and the recruitment, development, training, and retention of health workforce in developing countries, especially 
in least developed countries and small island developing states. Strengthen the capacity of all countries, in particular developing countries, for early warning, risk reduction, and management of national and global health risk. We note the appropriateness of the theme for World Standards Day with the recent launch of the first phase of our universal health care program and our performance-based financing for our health facilities clearly highlighting policy alignments. In keeping with standards development in the health sector, the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards has recently approved SLNS 24, Code of Practice for Healthcare Facilities generally. This is the first of many standards in a suite projected to be developed and or adopted by this Bureau from the complements of ISO standards spanning various areas from general practice, ophthalmology, quality and environment, dentistry, sterilization and disinfectant, laboratory, among others. The approval of standards in the health sector is a necessary step to the implementation of the seven components in the establishment of universal health care. One, governance. Two, the provision of services. Three, financing. Four, quality management. Five, monitoring and evaluation. Six, health information systems. And seven, infrastructure. Consequently, the Ministry of Health aims to pursue the attainment of internationally recognized accreditation of hospitals and public health laboratory services by 2026. In the fulfillment of this vision, significant work has been accomplished and ongoing with the establishment of the National Healthcare Quality Management System. Part of the National Healthcare Quality Policy 2016 to 2026, developed and approved for St. Lucia to institutionalize quality at all levels of care within the sector. The purpose of the National Healthcare Quality Policy is to support the national health care quality objectives of the government of St. Lucia by explicitly communicating national policy directions and to provide national guidance for the following objectives. One, to ensure the safety and welfare of the users of health and social services. Two, standardization of the quality of care in all health and social care facilities. Three, being able to monitor the quality of care nationwide against indicators and standards of care. Health emergencies such as COVID-19 pose a global risk and have shown the critical need for preparedness. And while we do have our challenges in St. Lucia, the strategy has been to develop to combat some shortcomings within our health sector. Our healthcare policy is projected till the year 2026, while the UN SDGs are projected for the year 2030. This means that if we remain on course and maintain our focus with our national healthcare quality policy, our national healthcare quality management system, and specifications for St. Lucia health sector, then we can see a major upgrade in the standard of living and healthcare in St. Lucia. We are reminded that one of the main objectives of the national quality policy is the health and wellness of the people and the environment. This means our health infrastructure is also part of the quality infrastructure. And through the work of the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards, we reinforce, strengthen, and safeguard St. Lucia. In closing, on behalf of the government of St. Lucia, I would like to thank the members of the Standards Council, the management and volunteers on our technical committees, the staff of the Bureau, for their service and commitment in developing and working towards the goal of securing our national quality infrastructure. Happy World Standards Day to all of you. I thank you. Thank you.